So what you saw was me marking up the axles, welding on all the spring and shackles and whatnot. And once I got them in place, took it all apart, and now I'm actually welding them down underneath where they're supposed to be. So I got the one done, welded in, got all the center bars welded in, and it is, what the hell time is it? It is quarter to five, and I'm beat, and I got to work in the morning at 5 a.m., so... I'll do that one on, probably on the weekend, put it underneath, get her on there, weld her up. Then I can put the uh, axles back in her. I can put the axles back in her and get her off these uh, saw horses. Because apparently I'm having a garage sale in a week and a half or something like that. She wants these saw horses. Oh, and my wood that I'm using for the deck of this trailer for her tables. So yeah, I've been told. Worst comes to worst, I can always give her that plate steel over there and that little piece of wood there. But yeah, I'm going to call her quits for the night. This is just killing me. But man, does that fan ever work nice. I open this door up here. Got the garage door open over there. Put that fan out there. And man, it sucks this garage clean. No time. So anyways, I will... Uh, Talk to you guys a little later on when I get a little more progress done on this thing. So, see ya. So, I spent the last two freaking hours crawling around through five different scrap loads that came in on the back of the trucks. Um, looking for some tubing. I had this stuff here. But this is all I had left and I needed like uh, 15 more pieces. No, 13 more pieces. So I went scrounging. And I got home, measured everything up, cut them all. And I'm a freaking idiot because I cut the wrong end on one of them. I can see that now. But anyways, it's going to have to do for now. But anyways, this is the tubing I have left from what I found at the scrapyard. Cutting it all. This is what I'm making. There's all the ones that I just finished cutting. There's all the pieces that I'm using putting in the vise. But anyways, these will go welded on here like that. And then the boards will get screwed to them. And then when you want to take the sides off, you just pull those pins. And the handy thing about these pins is it's got this cable. So you just throw a screw through that, through the wood, pull the pin, pull your sides off, pins are always with the sides, you never lose them. So yeah, and by the way, these are scrap finds too. So I have pretty much everything on this trailer is scrap find, except for a couple things, but all the tubing, this white stuff used to be big racking, I cut it all up, brought it home. As you can tell, some of it's a little, you, know, you can see it there where I torched some of it apart. Still got some of the pieces on it. I just got to take the grinder, grind it up, clean it up, make it look a little respectable. But, yeah, slowly coming, slowly coming. I got the spring mounts all in for the axles. Welded them up this morning. Started working on all these. And now I'm finishing off and drilling these. So I'll put you on the tripod here and uh, I'll start you up when I'm ready to roll show you how I'm doing it. So this is what I'm doing. Taking one of these, put it in my vise, center it up, lock that down, taking one of these, sticking it through till it comes out to the flush to the other side. Line it up. Put the safeties on, and away we go. And only one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
เส้นกระโดดมาที่นี่ Yeah, I did a lot of searching for this stuff, boy. Holy crap. Pulling stuff apart and going through barbed wire and bandsaw blades and electrical boxes. Chicken wire. Move this huge ass I beam. Oh man, I could just see the end of it sticking out, eh? Yeah, it was like three inches long, and I'm like, son of a bitch. Did all that for nothing. But anyways, there you have the hole. There's the pin. Like I said, this is the biggest trailer I've ever made before. Actually, never made a trailer with sides before. Everybody always wanted a snowmobile trailer or ATV trailer. So, you know, another learning curve for me. Damn it. And this is the shittiest place I've ever bought. I can't believe how shitty this thing is. This thing just flops around. You try to turn it in, it just... I'm going to take it to my machine buddy and see if he can make shim or something and make it run smoother because it just sucks. But what do you want for 19 bucks from Princess Auto, you know what I mean? I don't even know if it was 19 bucks. But anywho, I have got a shitload of work ahead of me yet. Once I get these done, then I gotta cut some plates to put in behind them, weld them to the trailer, and weld this to that. Because I want the uh, boards. I'll show you in a second now once I get this done. I want the boards to sit flush with the outside of the trailer not sitting on top of the trailer. I don't know if you kind of understand what I'm saying there. Rather than having it sit like this, rather than have it sitting, you know, I guess I need to point this down a little better. Eh? There we go. Whoa, whoa, settle down, Sean, settle down. Rather having it sit like this and then the board sitting like that on top of it, I want to bring it out so it sits here so that he gets the full eight foot inside dimension, right? I'm looking at that, I'm going, well, if I put half inch there, that's taking away an inch inside dimension, half inch each side, right? Then you're going to lose an inch end to end, too, so I've got some half inch plate over there. I'm going to weld to these and then weld these on so that when I put it on, it's actually sitting there. So that's what I'm doing the plan, anyways. So I'll do one more here and then I'll show you what else I picked up a scrap here today. Everybody looks at me like, what the hell are you doing? Whoopsie, sorry, my bad. Where the hell am I here? Okay, there's the drill press. Oh, God, I suck at this. Yeah, I get to work, everybody's looking at me like, what the hell are you doing here, man? And then, of course, they want to put me to work, and I'm like, uh, no. No, no, don't think so. I'm not here to work today. I did my 12 hour, 3 day shift. Kiss my butt. So yeah, I'll just do this one up and then I'll show you the other stuff I grabbed. And man, I love my new drill press. So nice. Oh, 
by the way, this bit, freebie, shred pile. I don't know if I showed you that, but I'll show you that too. One of them titanium Mastercraft sets from Canadian Tire. It's got like, I don't know, freaking 300 bits or something. Now mind you, they weren't all there, but still, I mean, what was there is always an added bonus to my girls. Collection. Yeah, I know, where's my cutting fluid? It's not like I'm just blanking down on this, I'm just barely putting pressure. Get through there. Come on, we can do it. There we go. So I'll show you the other stuff I grabbed here. Zoom you out a little bit here. God, what an ugly mug to be that close, eh? I need a bigger garage, <laughs> plain and simple. So anyways, I grabbed this half inch plate. I'm gonna cut it in two inch strips, weld that on the side of the trailer and then mount the racking bars, side bars, whatever you want to that and then put that on the trailer. And then I also picked up this angle iron. There's another piece here. That I'm going to weld to the sides of the trailer inside and that's where I'm going to bolt my wood down so they'll be welded all along the outside down the middle and then you bolt your wood on right and on both sides of the middle obviously and then the ends <coughs> and then I have some other plate here it's over there in the corner over there that I'm going to weld from here or plate sorry angle iron from here to here in each corner and then in the middle I'll do the same thing and that's where I'm going to put those uh, D-ring tie downs in so so yeah for now I am going to get back at her I got one two three four five six seven left to do and uh, when I start doing the angle iron I'll start you back up so talk to you later